So I had my car towed, right? And um, I was guilty, right? I, I was parked there for way longer than 30 minutes. I was parked there for like, I don't know, several days, right? <laughs> but I was under the impression that, um, and rightfully so, that they have to give you a certain warning, right? So that you have time. So, you know, I would check on the car every day, right? I figured I'd have, you know, a little bit of warning. Uh, so I was surprised when my car got towed. And it was on private property. It was, a, it was basically a parking lot. Uh, making a video. Shut up. Hate that. All right, I'm not. I'm not redoing this video. So, um, <laughs> uh, th this this only applies to uh, people that are um, parked on. This only applies to private property. Like if it's a, um, like where I'm parked right now. This is a parking garage, right? It's private property. It's owned by Vons, right? And it's open to the public and it's free. So uh, this law only applies to that situation. And if it's not being towed by a cop, and if it's not, if you're not being towed because you're parked in a fire lane or a handicapped spot or blocking an entrance. So if you're just parked in a parking lot like this, that's open to the public, right? That, that's owned by private property, that's owned by bonds, and it's not a cop. If they issue you a parking violation notice, right? Like that you're in violation, which they did. Oh, where is it? Uh, yeah, it's something like this, right? Let's take the shit on your window, right? Yeah. So, uh, you know, saying, you know, as it says, first, second, third, final notice, right? Right? Suggesting that they uh, can't just stick one on you and then tell you, like this guy did. So this guy went and selected uh, final notice, right? Look at this company. Fuck that guy. New vision, whatever. So, yeah, he went right to the final notice and then towed it, like, less than 24 hours. And by law, they have to give you 96 hours, which is exactly four days, which is why this is first, second, third, final notice, right? Four days, it's 96 hours. This guy went right to the final notice and then towed me, right? Totally illegal, you can't do that. There's a write-up on it, uh, San Diego, if you look up San Diego towing laws for private property, but the city attorney says like, this is illegal, do you have to give 96, 96 hours notice? So, if they don't, you get to, it's, a, it's against the law, right? It's a misdemeanor, uh, whoever authorized the towing. In this case, a security guard who doesn't like me, right? Um, anyway, so you get to sue them for four times the amount of the tow. If I would have known this, well, I did know it, but I was confident about it like I am now, I would have let that car sit there for a long time. I got it out like as soon as I could, so it still cost me $450 out of pocket. So I'm gonna turn around and sue this guy for the tow plus four times the amount for punitive damages, right? Uh, for an inconvenience, you know, whatever, pain, suffering, blah, blah, blah. If I gotta make some shit up, I will. You know, about how I lost all this money because I had to take two days off my job, but what a, you know, whatever, right? Either way, yeah, I'm gonna sue his ass for four times the amount. Because the day that I got the car back from the tow yard, I had parked it somewhere else and I was walking through the parking lot because it's close to where I live. And he was there and he saw me and he looked at me and he was sitting in his car, this fat ass fucking Iranian guy, sitting in his car He's laughing. He's like, like smirking, like made sure he had the eye contact with me. So he was like basically laughing at me that he towed my car. So I'm gonna be laughing at him in small claims court when I sue him for, you know, four times. So what's that? Almost, what? It's a lot. Yeah, almost two thousand dollars. Eighteen hundred dollars, about. Yep. So, yeah. Keep that in mind. If your car gets towed on private property in the state, I'm, I can't say about everything, but in the state of California, private property that's open to the public. Right. Even if, uh, oh, it can't be a paid one though. So it has to be free. Um, unless you're blocking a, the entrance or parked in a handicapped spot or fire hydrant or the tow is being done by police. This, it doesn't matter what the science is. You could say, you know, no parking. You could say that. You could say, we'll tow. You could say that. It doesn't matter. They have to give you 96 hours. And they have to give you a violation and they have to give you 96 hours to move it before they call a tow company. So you can just do that like indefinitely, so long as you keep moving your car. Uh, but anyway, yeah, keep that in mind. Yeah, and then you can sue them. All right.